Hello, V6WZ. Again, I'm just going to uh, do a quick tour of the nine circle receive array here at the remote. It's uh, located on some land which um, I had to have cleared. And I had contemplated individually clearing places for each of the nine vertical elements in the forest, and then I decided it would be that would be far too painful and uh, brought in a uh, an excavator and a backhoe and uh, well rather and a bulldozer and completely cleared the area to uh, to house the nine circle array I don't know if you can see the verticals hopefully it can we're going to do a close-up on it the nine circle array uh, consists of nine verticals and really what it is is uh, three inline phased arrays and switchable so um, in fact if I move along here you can probably see this there's a center element which is over there by the flagging tape and as I'm coming along you'll notice that these three verticals are now in line and those are the three active verticals in fact pointing switch to point either in this case toward Europe or toward uh, the southwest Oceania and and the center is the phasing box this um, this array was uh, purchased from a DX Engineering and uh, it's the YCC, YCCC club that uh, designed and built the box um, and uh, made it available. Very affordable and a fabulous array. So far extremely uh, happy with it. The feed line has um, been trenched out to the center box and uh, we'll have a look at that. The verticals uh, themselves I built just from aluminum tubing. They're approximately 25 feet high and they're uh, mounted on a steel fence post which I'll show you in a moment. Go up to uh, one here. You can see the feed point. And uh, basically a fiberglass insulator um, insulating a piece of aluminum pipe which is then hose clamped to the steel pipe and then the vertical element itself is connected to the amplifier. Each vertical has an amplifier box similar to this one. Uh, perhaps after this video I'll show uh, a detail of the uh, what the amplifiers look like themselves. All of the coax lines RG6 direct burial have been trenched and buried and head toward the central box where the um, switch controller is. And I'm going to head away over there now. The, uh, to provide weather protection I've basically just mounted a storage bin on a 4x4 post and some plywood and um, covered it, um, screwed the cover on to provide weather protection. Uh, I'm going to open that up and have a look in uh, at the uh, switch box. I've opened up the, uh, took the cover off of the uh, storage bin to provide uh, a view of the central controller. So basically, the control box itself is shown in white here, and that um, combines basically uh, at any one time three of the elements. And it's very well documented which, um, on the DX Engineering website. Um, and like I said, this from the Yankee. Uh, Clipper Contest Club is just a fabulous array and um, I've been very happy with it. The receive combiner is controlled with cat lines. There's a, there's cat control out here as well. Cat 5 um, control lines for the switching. And each vertical has a um, type 31 uh, clamp on big uh, ferrite toroid on each line going to the verticals to um, remove and eliminate any common mode uh, noise on the outside of the coax. And I also have a high Z uh, amplifier shown here just to increase the output. These are very low uh, output, um, a very low output array. And that's been performing exceptionally well. So far, the performance of the antenna has been, I must say, incredible. The front to back is astounding. Its ability to uh, reject and also to increase its um, uh, lower the noise is, is, uh, is remarkable. The RDF of this array is perhaps slightly below the high Z8 array, uh, also sold by DX Engineering, but um, 
this takes up a little bit less space and I thought I'd give this one a try and so far I'm very happy. Again the coax and the feed line to the array is buried and uh, trenched all the way back to the um, to the shack in the echo trailer. One other uh, comment regarding the nine circle array I neglected to mention and that is that each vertical is separated exactly by 60 feet. They're exactly 60 feet from the center vertical. So it's kind of a 60 foot radius circle around which the the array is located and you'll also notice that there is some sloping terrain but thus far I've had no no difficulty at all I haven't noticed any performance degradation and one other thing I'm about 120 feet or so from the transmit antenna uh, I shunt feed the tower for 160 meters uh, but the, shunt, the, the tower is detuned I do have a detune loop and I've carefully made sure that um, the bottom section of that tower is basically um, removed from the circuit such that the tower doesn't uh, interfere or upset the pattern of the nine circle array. I mentioned, uh, <clears throat> I mentioned earlier that I'd show the, the uh, feed box for the nine circle array uh, verticals. Uh, there's nine of these boxes, one at each vertical, both at the center vertical and all eight of the surrounding verticals and it's a uh, an amplifier a high impedance amplifier basically and again as i mentioned uh, earlier also the the um uh, all of the all of the um uh, components of the nine circle array are very well documented on the dx engineering site and also the um nine circle array sold by dx engineering is a, a build it yourself it's also basically just circuit boards and the equipment and the components and you basically solder it up and build it and to that end the um, enclosures also need to be fashioned uh, to your own liking i decided to build my uh, my own um, enclosure out of a hammond box um, seemed to be uh, convenient and easy to mount uh, at the um, at each vertical so that's the box and uh, uh, for each uh, each vertical.